So thank you very much, ma'am, again for agreeing for this interview. Uh, maybe you could start off with uh, this morning, as you were sharing earlier, when you uh, were officially informed that uh, you've been, uh, your position has been uh, confirmed. Which I'll start from there, ma'am. Yeah. Um, I'm thankful and appreciative that the integrity of the process has been maintained. I uh, thank uh, Minister Ramrondro and, you know, I quote, uh, he says it's water under the bridge, unquote. Um, thank you. Thank you. And, you know, let's move forward. This is for our children, our teachers, our Fiji. I'm uh, looking forward to new partnerships. I'm looking forward to meeting and working with all the very good people in the ministry. Um, it's not going to be easy, I know, uh, but I also know that I'm surrounded by good people. I uh, I do not doubt that people will point out uh, if there are difficulties, but it's about our future, and this is the future that we want for our children. Let's work together, let's trust the process, uh, let's appreciate and be respectful. Let's, uh, uh, you know, we will have disagreements. We need to learn to agree to disagree. And, uh, you know, I, I salute and honor uh, the Prime Minister, Nagwale Wusse, um, family and friends. Yeah, it's, it's, it's going to be good. I, I look forward to working with the unions. I look forward to working with our children, especially our children and our teachers. Uh, we're not going to undo it in, in one term. And I think we need to be uh, uh, fully aware of that. Um, I'm thankful to the PSC, the Public Service Commission, uh, the processes that have been followed and has been maintained at a high level. And of course, thank you as well to the media for continuing to do your job in keeping us all honest and being responsible journalists at a high level. Um, this is about our future and our children and, uh, you know, believing in God, uh, being steadfast in that belief. Um, you know, it's water under the bridge. Everything that has been said, the, you know, unfortunate things, some mudslinging, some bullying. Um, um, what, what did the Prime Minister say in, in Parliament one day? What of a duck's back, I think he said. You yeah. know. Let's work together. Let's work together. This is about us and our Fiji, our new Fiji. Maybe maybe you could just uh, share what uh, like this morning when you like. How did you feel uh, when you were <laughs> informed of the decision? Yeah, I, like I said, when you called me, right? Uh, I had turned off my data because everybody's taking snapshots of all sorts of things and sending it to me. Um, you know, and I talk about cyberbullying. I I say stop. Report, delete, don't, yeah. So I, I've been practicing that. Um, so this morning, I called my father to come and have a cup of tea and we're sitting down and having a cup of tea and then the calls started coming. And congratulations. Um, first calls came from the media. Um, so that was, you know, like, wait, hang on, let me just read it. It's a, it's a thankful spirit I have. Uh, as, um, I'm humbled. I'm humbled, and I think if anything, this is in God's time, um, and we need to remember it. You know? Things happen for a reason. Um, we need to protect each other and protect our feet and protect the processes that we have. Um, okay, M moving forward, mm. what are the, some of the first things you'll be looking in, into? Um, first thing is having a meeting with my uh, with my uh, senior directors and senior managers, uh, listening to where we have come from, where is it that we are going. Um, we have the biggest budget. I have, uh, you know, I've been, I'm, I'm, I'm very pleased that uh, acting PS Mbure is there. Um, so working very closely with uh, Master Mbure, working very closely with other madams and the sirs in the various, uh, departments and of course working very closely with the minister uh, to ensure that you know the promises that this coalition government has made for our people for our children that we see that through this is what this is about um, so that's my immediate plan um, and of course uh, building off relationships nurturing the relationship we need to build bridges 
uh, we need to remember that this is bigger than all of us. And the, the position is, it, it's, it's, a, it's an office. It's an office that needs to be steadfast. It's an office that needs to practice the rule of law. It's an office that is uh, governed by the constitutional processes and we must, we must uh, adhere to it. Um, I, I know that people will tell me, okay, Sal, you're supposed to do this and that. Um, I'm open to learning. I'm open to honest, hard conversations. That's okay. And um, I just want to remind everyone, you know, what the Minister of Education has already said this morning. Um, and they're welcome to me. Um, that was done already this morning through, uh, through the uh, uh, message that was sent on the government website. Uh, it's water under the bridge. Let's do this. Let's work together. We count on the media uh, to come and partner with us because you know you have a very very important job and we need to honor each other in uplifting and keeping everyone you know work, work, working and walking the talk for our children. Why why did you want to take on this this role? What made you want to become the permanent secretary? Um, I think uh, one of the biggest reasons is I have the expertise and the skills of working with children and teachers. Uh, one of my projects that I did for four years with World Health Organization is the Health Promoting School Program. I visited over 200 schools, uh, did professional development training for over, I think it was 4,000 wow. teachers. Um, and, you know, just, and a lot of it is, just having realistic uh, solutions that the teachers can do with their kids. The kids can go home and work with their parents. So, you know, that was the whole healthy community. Yeah? You can't be healthy unless you're healthy up here. So it was uh, based on a mental health perspective um, as a consultant for WHO in mental health and well-being. So from there, it was like, you know, I, I can do bigger than this. I can reach all the schools. Um, so when the new government came into place, um, I prayed about it. I uh, talked to uh, colleagues. I talked to friends and family. Um, I put my hand up because I believe in this new coalition government. I believe in where we want to go. And I believe in, uh, as an Itoke woman, that we have the potential and that we were recruiting uh, locally. Let's do it. Let's do it for our children. Um, Mary, you as a counsellor, your experience of working with children, mm. uh, the difficulties that children are facing, you've already dealt with it. Mm. How, moving forward in your new role, how are you ready to use, utilize that knowledge and skills as a case to Yes. Uh, the Ministry of Education has the Substance Abuse Advisory Council. Uh, it's a statutory body that, that exists uh, by law. Um, I will work very closely with them, um, bringing my expertise to them. Like I said earlier, where have we come from? Where is it that we want to go? Um, and then, okay, this is the skill sets I have. This is how we can use it. Uh, what does our law say? What does our policy say? What do we need to adjust? Where do we need to, um, to look at? Um, and I'm already a member of the council uh, uh, by virtue of my former job. Um, as the PS Education, the PS Education also sits in the, in the council. Um, so I look forward to it. So it's bringing my expertise, seeing where they're at, uh, where do we want to go, where, what can we do. Uh, we need to talk not only to our children, but to our parents, eh? uh, to our teachers. The teacher in the classroom, they're like the final stop. Eh? But all of us as parents, so the challenge is on us as parents as well. What are we doing? Our first classroom, first, first teacher is us as parents with our children at home. Eh? They're making the lunch, they're having the conversations, they're playing cards at home, uh, having a little whiteboard and a calendar and a time so that our children know what's happening. Eh? And then, of course, another, another part of me wants to look at um, early intervention. Uh, what do we need to do to make early intervention, early diagnosis, so that we can, you know, no child to be left behind. Eh? So I'm going to be uh, working very closely with other stakeholders, with other ministries, because we can't do it alone. It needs a coordinated approach. It needs building bridges. It needs hard work. Eh? And, and I'm, I'm, I'm honoured and I'm pleased 
and you know, just keeping the faith that the processes and the integrity of the process is maintained. I'm calling on everyone, eh? let's be men and women of integrity. Um, let's work for our children and our Fiji. This, this term is uh, the second term of the year, and this coming month it sees uh, ex in, 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 uh, examinations happening. Some schools are going through them right now, yeah. and as they lead into the final weeks of uh, this term, yeah. with sports and everything. Do you still will consider sports and education? Absolutely. Uh, holistic uh, development of the child. Uh, the programs are already there. Obviously, like I said, we need to sit down with all the senior managers, uh, the uh, people in front, uh, in, in charge of the different sections. Let's see, what's, what have we done with our calendar of events for the whole year? Let's, yeah, you know, we want our children to have uh, uh, you know, mental health, emotional health, academic uh, brilliance, um, social skills, enough of this. <laughs> so it, it needs a lot of effort. A lot of work, and uh, I, I'm ready to do the hard yards. I'm ready to roll up my sleeves okay. and do what needs to be done.